Guys, we're going to talk about bronzing today, and I'm not talking about you sun lovers from the 80s with your baby oil rubbed on your back. We're talking about Japanese maples, red leaf varieties when they start going green. So Chris here from Simply Japanese Maples. Let's talk about what bronzing is. Basically, it's not any sort of problem health-wise. It's, it's essentially when your red leaf varieties get more greeny red. And so we're going to look at some trees that do are doing exactly that. So here's Emperor 1. Same, same trees, but, and they've both been in our greenhouse here, which I should note, uh, the plastic is 55% shade. So there is uh, shading. It's kind of a very nice, bright, uniform light, but it's still shaded nonetheless. So here's Emperor 1, very red. Here's Emperor 1, very bronzed out, very greened out. So very different. And both in the same greenhouse. So the one that's more bronzed out is probably being a lot more covered by other plants in here, uh, possibly you know in a, in a little corner of the greenhouse that gets less sun. So, but that is what's happening here. So one's getting less sun uh, during the day, so it's bronzing out. Another one is right of spring, and this just is, it is not limited to just these two, but here you go. So this one's very red. This one's very bronzed out. This is Acer palmatum right of spring. Um, so. Again, one's just not getting as much uh, sunlight, enough sunlight during the day to stay as red as it wants to be. All right, so another example here is Acer Palmatum Shiraz. So this one has been in shade and it's basically kind of pink and green. Whereas this one has been in full sun all year long and it's red and pink. And so this is pretty normal. So no bronzing, no greening out whatsoever. Whereas this, and if this was shaded even more, it would be even more green. Now, there's no hard and fast rule. Every variety is a little different. Some hold the red super well. Acer palmatum Shaina. So this is very red. This thing's glowing in here. Unfortunately, I don't have another one in here that to, could use as comparison. Um, my experience tells me that it holds its red pretty well. So some of them do green out faster than others. Some barely green out. So there's variations on different ones and how it works. It's something to think about when you're going to be citing a, a plant in the ground. So you want to know, okay, is this going to be red with only three hours of sunlight all day long? Or if it's in a pot, it's different. You can move it around for the most optimal, you know, position for that plant. So, so if you do order a tree from us, that's supposed to be red and it's more green. It's just been inside the greenhouse. It's not going to harm the plant. It just means that basically, uh, next, next year, year, when you have it in the perfect location that you want it to be in, it's, it's going to be red if that's what you are trying to accomplish. So, yeah. So, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. SimplyjapaneseMaples.ca is where you can find our trees.